For those who are not familiar who is Kaylin, Kaylin is a 17-year-old girl that was beaten by five adult females to the brink of death at an illegal party in St. Andrew. This is what her mom has to say. More like sad, not upset. Bad news. Not good news. Not good news, you know. Up to yesterday, Kaylan was doing fine. And when I say fine, she was doing everything that she was supposed to do. The only issue she was having up until yesterday was the ventilator. She was still on the ventilator. Up until yesterday, she was doing fine. She was eating, talking, moving. Everything was working according. She wasn't, she wasn't on any um, meds. She was just getting mainly fluids and, you know, a little bisolving and stuff like that to, to, to help with her secretion because, you know, she has in a trick. Um, today, she had two seizures. She had two seizures. They said she had a little temperature spike in the um, and about after four this morning before they, um, you know, and they did some blood cultures that, that came at negative. Um, today she had two seizures one in the mid on midday when i went to the hospital today um she already had a seizure and she was resting basically um since night the hospital um called said that i should come quick I should come quick. I panicked as per usual. But you know, I, I, I kept trying to, to talk. I kept, she had two cardiac arrests tonight. She's not gone. No, guys. If she was gone, I couldn't be on alive. I need the prayer warriors and the mothers. Mothers. Asking you, please, to pray. Pray. This is this is now a total of nine cardiac arrests. The second one lasted for seven minutes, guys. It, it, it's it, it, it's hard to fathom how someone can have nine cardiac arrests and still be here. She's not well now. She's not well. Yesterday she was fine, fine. So where the doctors are working and trying to figure out what could have caused the seizures and what could have caused her to go into this state. This is a hard journey. This is a very hard and a long journey. Very hard one. And I can't. I, I don't know, I don't have the strength, but I'm trying. I don't have the strength, but I'm trying. I am trying my best. I am putting out 110% even when my body keeps failing me because I, I have been working on overtime and working on, on sheer grace. Sheer grace see that my child does not deserve this and four months in and she's still fighting for her life still fighting for her life but there's a god and i'm trusting i'm trusting and purpose cannot die that's right purpose cannot die you know when I was leaving the hospital just now, she was asking for water. So her conscious level is slowly coming back. 
Every time they thought she wasn't going to make it, she did. Because when they called me since night and said, Mommy, come now, she's not looking good. They thought she wasn't going to make it, but God heard us. God heard my cry one more time. Kaylan is a very promising little girl. Kaylan have her own business. Kaylan have got school. Kaylan talented. Kaylan have sang, written, and put down. A wait for she sing. Kaylan have... Kaylan was about to do so much with her life. Talented. Kaylan wanted to go to Edna Manley. Kaylan wanted to be an actress. Kaylan had so much going for her. And she still does. And I'm not giving up on her. I will never give up. I will keep praying and I will keep believing and I will keep fighting. Just help me pray. Because the more we pray, the more God will listen. So keep calling her name to God. And please pray my strength. Don't think I can sleep tonight, but I'm going to try. I've been sleeping. I, I go to bed at night and I wake up restless in the morning. Same way, like me, not like me. Yeah, my body just a shake sometimes. My head constantly dizzy. Even when the pressure normal, me still a shake. I don't know. I need rest and I need... Kaylan was eating. I had to be preparing Kaylan. Kaylan, I forget breakfast every morning. Kaylan get breakfast at morning time before me. And I feed her before I leave the hospital. Cause she, she not like when the nurse them feed her. She like when me feed her. So, uh, guys, I'm gonna go. Keep praying. Please, keep praying. We need the prayers right now more than anything. We need prayer warriors to be 